some time now there is a change because women are coming out to fight for their I always listen to news and they come out to say they want to have place in politics, they want to have place here and they have been placed but that cannot just come to be just in a day because since we have not been part of the men, it will take some time for that for that place to that gap to be bridged between men and women. But I know with time it will get to a place where women will be placed on the right on the place where they're supposed to be. The women are now being permitted into different phases of life. Women are in politics, women are, are doing well in the economy, women are doing well. You know, in those days they always put at the kitchen, you know, at the house, you know. But now I think it's getting better. For instance, you have a lot of women who have aspired to be pastors, they are pastoring uh, today. There are women who have aspired to political offices who are in the Senate, House of Reds, and even gov deputy governors and instances of being governors in Nigeria. Some to think that women have been given rights or equal opportunities as we stand as a nation today. They've been given equality. It's just that maybe most of them do not take advantage or aspire to such positions. The women are given equal rights, but I believe that um, with uh, recent development, women are having a lot of participatory role in the government. They're having participatory role in the society. They are playing a large role compared to before. And today you have uh, women in the, in the civil service all over the place. So that shows that women are having a lot of fun. As the Women Equality Day is marked today, various stakeholders should formulate policies that will make life better for women. I think the government has its own role to play in the sense that um, organizing uh, some seminar, you understand, to enlighten the women on their rights because it's like most of them not even know their rights, you understand. For them to know that, you look, you, you, you guys, your, your voice can still be heard in Nigeria, you understand. In the sense that it's very important for them to be involved in the government sector, in the private sector, in decision, even in decision making here in Nigeria itself, women still have a role to play. So the government can still do what? Create seminar, you understand, by enlightening the women. At this level, we'll say sensitization is very imperative. Orientation, information, all this will send the message across. The truth is that the women have a very vital role in society fostering peace, ensuring development, and also uniting the society through the family bonds that they strengthen and encourage. So if the government have a center and avenue where the women will be giving continuous orientation, information, and appreciated, I believe we'll have a better society. On Women's Equality Day, think about supporting women's empowerment projects in developing countries. Stop thinking about men and women as separate beings with separate roles and start thinking about people as equal. Happy Women Equality Day! Happy Women Equality Day! Congratulations to all women because your participatory role in society has just been magnified. Well, I wish every, every, every woman, every mother, every girl, child, Happy Women Equality Day. I wish all the women Happy Women Equality Day and my profound uh, which is go to Mama Ellie Oshajafo. Mama, you are my mentor. I love you. God bless you.